Jai Gurudev. Welcome again to this channel of videos treating about spiritual subjects. Today I will I would like to tell you a few words about uh, spiritual names and about my spiritual name. In case some of you are asking or want to know. Uh, so, a spiritual name is, um, let's say, a new energy in which you are entering. Every time you progress on the path, there is something happening in you, and this new transformation is... Uh, the result of um, change which is operating in you and uh, when you receive a spiritual name it is like the first step on a new path because you receive an energy that will start working in you and uh, will start transforming you into a new you. It is as if the individual has a name, but the soul, so the divine part in you, has another name, or maybe many, many other names, because there are different levels different spiritual levels and uh, each name it's a vibration, it's na each name is an energy which is connecting you to different qualities. The name is magical. The, the way in which we receive our name, even normally, our parents are giving us a name but it is even more deep and meaningful when a spiritual guide a spiritual master is giving us a name in my life there has always been a, let's say strange situation related to the identity my parents in Romania, I was born in Romania, wanted to call me Anne Liz, which was a French name. But no one is my, in my family was speaking French. They were insisting to give me this name, but the local authorities in 1977 said, no, this is too exotical. No, your, your daughter can't have this name. My parents have been disappointed, so they came home and they said, okay, let us give her a normal name, a name that is common in Romania and in Latin countries, and they call me Anna Maria. But, again, what was strange is that because they chose this name, in this, you know, delicate situation and they were somehow forced to do it, they didn't use it. So my father found another name, uh, which was a sort of nickname, uh, quite sweet, and uh, he was calling me Pusha. And everyone, my mom, my neighbors, uh, classmates were calling me like this. And only the teacher was calling me exactly by the name that was um, in the papers, but I, was, I couldn't react to that name because I didn't feel that that was my name. And later, when I first, I met my first uh, spiritual guru, uh, I received uh, another name, connected to the sun this time. One of the persons in the spiritual group 
where I was at that moment. Uh, I was 17 years old. One of the persons found that I was having something shiny, shiny and sunny, and uh, she chose that name for me, which was Soriana. I was not yet on, uh, in a Hindu organization. I was uh, practicing yoga, but I was seeing spirituality as being vast and including different paths. My first guru who connected me to India gave me the name of Ananda, which was related to Mananda Mai because he had a strong connection with her and he was feeling that there was something in me which reminded him of that bliss and something that I was not seeing but that the spiritual guru was seeing by that time a subtle joy and which progressively became my nature Then, after this name, I had another one. Joining Shivaism, I had the name of Ma Charana, Charnananda, which means the eternal bliss, the one who is in eternal bliss at the feet of the Lord. And that name also is very beautiful because it brings to devotion and uh, humility and surrendering which is very precious on the spiritual path. Another name which was associated with that was Chaitanya as well. Chaitanya is like the pure consciousness in which we want to to go and with which we want to connect and we want to be that pure consciousness in our everyday life. Recently, by a magical situation again, written by life, I joined the Vaishnavit path and I received the name that I have right now, which is Godavari. This is very sweet because I was in Shaivaism and uh, Godavari is a part of Ganga. And who is taking care of Ganga? It's Shiva. Shiva had the Ganga in his head, in his hair, holding her. And uh, at one moment, Ganga deviates, Shiva deviates himself to Ganga, to the village of Govuru, to help a sage who was doing tapas for him. And uh, that part of the Ganga, it's called Godavari. And Shiva puts the source of Ganga at Triambakeshwar, which is the place where the Shaivites are gathering during the Kumbha Melas, the spiritual festivals. It is really a precious gift to receive the blessings of, uh, of the Gurus and this help on the spiritual path, which is a transformation of, the, of our identity, we somehow lose the individual, we lose the individual identity to discover step by step the spiritual identity. And we are entering in an unknown world. You know, in, in our society, you go for studies, and you know exactly what diploma you will have, 
you know exactly what job you will have and the skills that you need for that. But on the spiritual path, you don't know when you, where you are going. At the beginning, it's not clear. And this is, this is why we need a master, we need a guide, we need someone who knows the path and who can bring us to the final destination, which is being ourselves, which is also not being identified to anything from outside and shine from inside. When I say bringing to the final destination is not something that we become, that's something that it's something that we already are, but which is not seen because our society made us, um, according to its image, identified to our name, the name that we have in our passport, and to our job and career and uh, a lot of other things. And we need to detach from all this step by step and to enter in this world which is beyond and which is not seen and which is only felt with the heart and then experienced, experienced on the path. So I encourage everyone to enter on, on a spiritual path and to have this wonderful adventure of the consciousness which brings you from one identity to other spiritual identity and finally to no identity because at the end we feel that we have this feeling of emptiness and we become an instrument, an instrument of life and an instrument of the divine. Jai Gurudev.